introducing everybody. I'm Chris, and from the end, we have Matthew, Matthew. Mike, Mike. Sylvia. Sylvia, Jillian, Jillian. Sean, Sean. Rachel. and Rachel. Okay, some people say the kids really don't know very much about nuclear war. Um, they don't think about nuclear war. For, let's open it up. Do you, do you think that's true? It's something that's sort of in the back of your mind. You know it's there. Um, but constantly. Yeah, but constantly. I mean, I, I babysit little kids. They're five, and they know war is bad, and nuclear war is worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that scares me that little five-year-olds are... Five years old, they already know about it. Yeah, and they're all scared about it. Mm -hmm. How did you get to be a group? Did you do exercises of some kind? Did you have meetings ahead of time to get ready? Well, um, we've been having meetings for about two months when we first met each other. These seven young people have a goal. They want to make a television movie that will tell grown-ups how they feel about nuclear war. In a classroom in the Boston, Massachusetts area, they're meeting for the first time. Ahmed, who couldn't be there for the earlier taping, is here today, as media teacher Judy Wood sets out to make this enthusiastic group a movie-making team. What we're going to do is we're going to have each of you think about your favorite food, your favorite musical group, and your favorite television show. Then I'm going to give you this piece of paper, and you're going to write down the answers. You don't need to put the question. ETV4 goes beyond the surface of the summit to focus on the issues that concern New England. Eyewitness News reporter John Henning continues his comprehensive coverage of the Geneva talks with live reports from our nation's capital. And join Jack Williams for a real-life drama of heroism, heartbreak, and hope. Postcards from Gorky, the Sakharov family in Newton, Wednesday night at 7.30. Follow the human issues behind the summit this week on WBZ TV 4, the station New England turns to. Thank you very much, Venus. So, you, did you find you could get through to most of the people you wanted to talk to? Did you get the people you were going for? I knew that I wanted to interview somebody from the media, so I interviewed John Chancellor. Uh, and so, how did, you, how did you find him? I mean, he's a really established media man. Did he, was he interested in listening to you, or did you feel that he was being professional in some way or did you get through to him as a real person? Well, I thought they really respected me as a person mm -hmm. because um, they talked to me like I was a person. Who were some other people you interviewed? I interviewed the Helen and Bill Cal Dr. Helen and Bill Calicott. Right. Mike, who'd you talk to? Dr. Bill Yuri and Dr. Costas Simmons. One of the questions I asked them both was, should we trust the Russians? Mm -hmm. Because there had been an interview with somebody from Congress and they said we should. And they both said that we shouldn't have to trust them because we're people and they're people and they fear an accident as much as we do, mm -hmm. so that we don't really need to trust them. Rachel? Well, I interviewed the, quote, person on the street, anybody oh. who happened to walk by. Uh -huh. And... How was the man in the street cooperative or well, <laughs> hard to hard to all with? Some people who were really um, outgoing. Mm -hmm. We interviewed some people, you know, it ties up to here in the three-piece pinstripe suit, mm -hmm. and we interviewed some people with purple hair. So what happened when you just said that? <laughs> I'd love to hear from that. Sean, who did, who did you talk to? Two survivors. He could not forget. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. The process of making this movie began several months ago. Before there were interviews, there were ideas, discussions, and hard work. I would like to interview president and the USSR president. I think I might like to interview our teacher. I think like the report on the street idea, where you know you go up to everybody and ask their opinion, just anybody. Eric Shimmy and Roberta Snow have worked together on the International Children's Project. I think one of the things that's similar is that many people there, as many people here, don't want to have a nuclear war. As president of Educators for Social Responsibility, and as a teacher, she's primarily concerned with how the issue of nuclear war affects kids and what teachers can do to help young people make responsible decisions. Sylvia had lots of questions for her, but she turned the tables on us. I guess I, I have just I have some a question for you about, um, you know, you asked me, do I think that teachers should teach it or have a certain time, or um, do I think it's better to just wait till students ask it? What would your answer to that be? Well, um, I think they should teach, but um, make sure that at least 
the children ask first, so you're not teaching them too early, because young children can get very scared about it, because it is a scary subject. I think sometimes people get the impression that because kids are learning about nuclear weapons that they're responsible. And you know, that's not true at all. It's very important that adults stay responsible to make sure there's a safe world. The parents like to watch the television show about nuclear war? Yeah, and they were the ones who got scared. What part made them scared? The part when I asked them what they were going to do about it. and children to break the taboo of silence and to talk to each other about their feelings on the subject of nuclear war. Tonight these children got a chance to speak and their parents had an opportunity to listen. Did working on this and, and finding out more and talking to more people make you feel um, more nervous or did it make you feel like you had a greater understanding and could deal with it better? You can't deal with something you know nothing about and through this we learned a lot. We learned how people are feeling and what they have to say. And you need you need to learn that before you can help it. I think kids at our age and stuff like babies, they should know what's happening in the world because our kids, everyone our ages can make a difference. 